Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a wholesale e-commerce store using Morpheus and Elementor. And before we continue, let me explain the system. So first, we will create a simple e-commerce store using a free theme. Then we will hide the fraud of prices and we'll replace add to cart button with a add to inquiry or something similar. So instead of cart, customer will be able to add multiple items into the inquiry. Uh, we will also customize checkout where customers will only submit an inquiry form instead of checkout. The inquiry form will send the customer info to the website owner or the admin who can then contact the customers and then they can discuss the prices and the shipment etc. Once again, we will not prices any payments on this website. This will be a general inquiry store. And uh, we will be using only free resources to create this website, WorldFace is free and uh, also we will use a free theme and free page builder called Elementor. And before we proceed, let's have a look at the website that we will be creating in this video so that you get the idea better. And this is the website that we will be creating in this video, here on the top you can see this bar, here you can display a text or a link and then social icons or any other widget. Then we have the main header with a logo and all the required pages with search icon, user icon and cart icon. Then this is the main section of the website where we have a title and this background image. Obviously you can customize it, you can use your own images, your own titles and text. Then if I scroll down, here we have these icons, then we have these new products. And you might have noticed that instead of add to cart, we have this add to inquiry and we don't have prices mentioned here that we will cover later on in this video. Let's scroll down, here we have this section again for some categories. Then powerful products, so here you can display some more products. And then a section like this where you can display an image or some text. Then we have these popular products, so basically blog news, then newsletter form, then some other products and a footer. Again, you can customize all these things based on your needs. Now let me open up any of the products like this one. Then this is the single product page where we have the product image, then the title and again no price is mentioned, then short description and add to inquiry again. So if I add this to inquiry, then instead of cart page this will take me to checkout. And I'll show you how you can redirect pages and you can skip cart page, okay? Again here you can notice I have disabled many fields like the zip code, also the address fields. And same goes for this, here you can see we only see the product. We don't have the prices, we don't have the total price, no shipping, no payments and so on. And one more thing is we can also remove item from this cart here, okay? I'll show you how you can achieve this as well. Lastly, I have changed the button text here as well. And now let's try ordering something. For example, this thing, I'll just request a code. And this will place the order. Thank you, your order has been received. This is the order number, date, my email and then again we don't have any prices. This is the product and the billing address. And by the way, I have disabled the emails that are going to the customers like on hold email, processing email, then order completed. Because those emails have the products and their prices and so on. Now admin can see this order in the dashboard. Let me show you. And here if I go to commerce and orders, this is the one that I just submitted, okay? Then admin can click on it and then we can see the username, the email, the phone number and then can contact this customer. So this is the design and the flow of the website that we will be creating in this video. And now let's start creating the website. And now to create any website, the first thing you need is domain and hosting. And domain will be your website name which will be unique and after typing your URL, your domain name, people will land on your page. For example, if I open a new tab and I type softexpert.pk, this will take me to my website. And this is because this is my domain name and I have my website here. Another popular example of domain name are google.com, facebook.com, youtube.com and so on. And hosting in simple words is an online storage where your website files will be stored, where you can manage your domain, your databases, file manager, your SSL certificates, you can create domain name emails and you can also create subdomains, add-on domains and so on. And there are multiple platforms that provide you domain and hosting. The one I would recommend is hostinger.com. And there is a discount link in the description. Once you go there, it will take you to this page. And here you can get a normal hosting or a WordPress hosting. As we are creating WordPress website, so that's why I'm on WordPress page. And the reason for suggesting this hosting is the pricing. Here you will get a free domain, free website migration, 24 hour support and so on. And if you want to check the pricing plans, you can scroll down here. And you can see this is the premium one, business and cloud startup. And here you can also notice the pricing. Here on the first plan, you can host up to 100 websites, you will get this amount of storage, weekly backups and so on. And on this plan, you can also host 100 websites, this is better in speed. We have 200 GB of NVMe storage, a daily backup, free emails, unlimited SSL and so on. You can check these features and you can select the plan that you need. And most cases, this will be fine for you, you can just add this to cart or if you need this one, you can add this to cart. 
and it will take you to the cart page where you can see you are almost there complete your order and here you can see the summary of your plan you can scroll down you can buy this hosting for 1 month 12 24 or 48 months so the more time you choose here the more discount you will get here you can see you can save up to 432 usd and uh, you can scroll down you can create a free account here or you can sign up using your facebook or google and then you can pay with credit card paypal google pay and so on and you can see in just 143 you will get a free domain in this hosting for four years okay one more thing is if you are from pakistan the link in the description will take you to hostinger.pk and you can again see the pricing in the rupees and you can add any to cart and you can see the pricing is just 859 rupees and it also include one year free domain this is for four years which is a good deal and the next thing is you can also pay with easy pesa jazz cash and hbl from pakistan also the alpha wallet is there so you can follow the link in the description and you can get a domain name and hosting and after buying a domain and hosting you will get a dashboard like this this is the domain name and this is my hosting plan you can see business with hosting okay and now let's see how we can install wordpress on our domain if i visit this domain and there is nothing you are all set to go now we just need to install wordpress here okay let's go back and to install wordpress you can go to website and here you will see wordpress if you don't see here you can go to auto installer and you will find wordpress there just click on it and here you can detect wordpress on your domain name i know that there is no wordpress installed in this domain so i can just click on install wordpress and this will open up a pop-up where you can write your website title for example and here you can write admin email and username and password for your wordpress dashboard okay and that's it just click next and here you can choose the wordpress version this is the latest one which is fine you can also select your website language and these are fine and here you can select update to minor version and then click install and that's it this is how you can install wordpress on your domain and now you'll see a different dashboard here you can see now we can edit our website we have this plugin installed and uh, we also have the wordpress latest version the php version and the daily backup is enabled now to go to your wordpress dashboard you can just click on edit website and this is the wordpress dashboard where we can install themes and plugins and we can start creating the website and to create the website we will be using the bloxy theme which is the most popular free theme and have lots of free options available and there are also options for WooCommerce to customize the products and the single products pages and also the cart and checkout and which is why I mostly use Bloxy on my websites and if you want to download the Bloxy free version you can just follow the first link in the description which will take you to this page and here you can see there are multiple demos available that you can import and you can customize based on your needs these are ready-made websites so you can pick any of these websites there are simple websites and also e-commerce stores and as you are creating an e-commerce store so I'll use an e-commerce demo let's say this one or any of these demos and this is also an e-commerce store let's say i want to use this one so i can click on it i can learn more about this theme here and i can also check its live demo and you can see this is the same website that i showed you in the demo so if i scroll down you can see the whole home page with the demo products and also other pages like products services about news contact and so on so we will use any of these demos and then we will customize it based on our needs let's close it and again to download the theme just go to the link in the description and then click on free download and this is the theme so just click download and this will start downloading a file this is the theme file that we will need to upload to our office so let's go to our office dashboard and to upload the theme we'll go to appearance themes add new theme upload theme and we'll choose that file i'll choose block c we'll open it install now and theme uploaded now we can go ahead and activate it and once you activate the theme you will see this notice thanks for installing Bloxy and this will ask for installing this plugin this is Bloxy companion so just click on install and this will install and activate the plugin and will take you to its dashboard here on the home you can learn more about the options like the color options typography footer header and so on but we will be covering this later on in this video first we need a demo website on this domain because if i visit this domain in a new tab we have nothing on the website okay so let's create a website first and then we will customize it let's go back and here on that same page i'll go to starter sites where we have those same demos that i showed you on the theme website and again you can choose any of these demos to install i have showed you this one so i'll just go with this one i'll click on import and this is the theme wizard so install child theme we will click on this to install it then we'll go next and here you can choose your page builder you can use gutenberg or you can use elementor and elementor is very powerful and easy to use i'll use elementor and we'll go next 
and these are some plugins required for this demo so we will select all and we'll click next and then this is the import option if you want to import only options you can select it you can only select widgets or content and to import the whole website just select all and here we will choose clean install to delete everything else and then install this will start importing the demo content and will take a little bit time so let's wait for it And that's it, start a site imported successfully. Now if I visit the same website, you can see we got the whole demo along with the logo, all the required pages and also the whole home page with the demo products and so on. So this is how you can create a website and then let me show you how you can customize it, okay? So to customize the main pages like the home page, the services about, you can edit these pages with Elementor. For example, if I want to edit this home page, I'll just click on edit with Elementor and this will edit this page with Elementor. So if I click here, we may need to recreate the kit and you can see we have to recreate kit. So just click on recreate kit. This will take you to Elementor settings and here you can see recreate kit. Just click here. You can also click here to regenerate the files, then save changes and close it and then refresh. And now we can use Elementor. So again Elementor is very easy and I have lots of tutorial about Elementor where we can customize the whole website just by drag and drop without any coding. For example if I want to change this heading I'll just click on it and then I can change the title here brand new collection. So I can write my own title something like this ok. I can also change this text so I click on it. I can write my own text here. I can click on it to upload an image here and to upload an image just click on this image. And here you can choose any image from this media library that you already have uploaded or you can upload any image by just dragging here from your computer okay then select that image and click select and this will change this image same goes for this content and also for the button here you can change the button text and also the button link if you want to link this to the shop page you can copy the shop page link in this case this is products so you can write products here and then scroll down and same goes for these this is also an image so i can click on it and i can change the image and again this is a title this is text and so on and these are products so i can click here and this is just a short code that i'll show you how you can customize these products later on and this is another section so just click on the thing that you want to change and you will be able to make changes on the left side okay and if you want to add an additional section to this website or this page or any other page you can scroll down and here you can add a new section if you want to add in the middle you can just click on this plus and then you can choose a layout from here like two columns layout three columns four columns and so on let's say two columns so i'll select it and this is our two column section where we can add elements to add elements just go to all elements and here you can use any of these elements for example if you want to display a video here just grab a video and drag it here and then you can make changes to the video by changing its link and you can also change the video options like auto play, mute, loop and play control and so on. You can even add a thumbnail to this by image overlay. Here you can enable it. Then you can use an image. Let's say this one and select. And this is our video now. And we can also add other elements to this column. So we'll go to all elements. Then I'll add a heading and also some text and then a button and this button is not looking good so we can go to style and we can change its background color to the theme color like this you can also increase and decrease the size by going to small large or medium and so on so in this way you can add a new section to the website and you can use all these elements that are available if you want to add additional sections like the flow you can follow the link in the description to elementor pro you can get elementor pro and then you will be able to use these elements and these are the general elements and these are WooCommerce. So in this way you can add a new section to the website. Let me just remove it and then at the end make sure to click on update to save your changes. I have lots of tutorial about Elementor so make sure to visit the channel and you will be able to learn more about Elementor and you will be able to customize this website furthermore. Now let's close it and you can see we have changed this title only. Now let me show you how you can add your own products and how you can remove these products or you can update these products ok. For that go back to the dashboard and let's refresh the page to see the options here. So you can see products option here. Just click on it and here you will find all the products. Now you can edit any of these products or you can add your own products. You can remove these products and so on. 
let me edit any of these products to show you how it works okay so i'll edit it and i will open this product in space screen just to show you okay so so this is the product and you can see this is the product title and this is the rating this is the price so to change the title you can just change the title here you can change this description which is this one and this is the featured image which is this main image of the web product okay you can just click on it then you can upload your own image same goes for the gallery if you want to add additional images here you can add your product gallery and this is the product categories that you can customize and this is the long description which i showed you here and also you can add product tags and this is the product price you can change it you can see here this is 45 which is regular and then we are selling it on 30 which is the sale price okay so in this way you can achieve this thing you can make it simple product or you can make this grouped variable and so on and then you can also check these options these are not required for this video but i have showed you this in my previous videos and you can check my e-commerce playlist and this is the short description which you see here so in this way you can customize or you can add a product okay this is very simple so i will not go in much detail here let's close the split screen here and at the end just click on update to save your changes that's it and now let's see how we can turn on catalog mode which means that we will hide the product prices and we will replace this add to cart with add to inquiry and before that let me show you the website flow so if i add it to cart then i'll view cart this will take me to the cart page where i can modify the products but we will skip this page and we will go directly to the checkout that i'll show you later on so let's go to checkout and here you can see in the checkout we have lots of fields and also we have this summary and then place order and we don't have any payments so the first thing is we will make changes to the checkout because we don't want to display all these fields and also we don't want to display the product prices here and the total and so on we will also remove the payment option completely and we will also change this text to something else okay and there are two methods to do it the first method is if you want to use the normal button mark blocks and you want to customize the checkout you can do it let me show you how if i go to dashboard and uh, let's go to pages and this is our current checkout page okay if i edit this and here you will only see this short code which is from woocommerce okay we can't modify it and we will modify it by using our custom codes that i'll show you later on okay but before that if you want to use the gutenberg blocks for checkout you can do it let me show you you can just click on plus then search for checkout and here you can see this checkout okay click on it and you will see a complete checkout here that you can customize the first thing is email you can click here and this is the number of steps you can hide it okay then if you go to shipping here you can disable some fields like apartment the phone number you can make it required and so on that you are seeing here okay so in this way you can disable and enable some fields then scroll down and then you can change the payment options and so on but you can see this is very limited and we can't remove any of these fields also we can't remove the shipping and so on so we will use the normal checkout that i showed you by woocommerce checkout okay and we will not use the gutenberg blocks then we will use some custom codes to modify that checkout so i'll just select the checkout and we'll remove it and now to make changes to the checkout fields and to hide the payments and to replace the place order and also to replace add to cart there are a couple of things to do and it also requires custom codes so i'll do it in the next video just to make this video short in this video we covered the theme and we created a simple e-commerce store so if you need a simple e-commerce store this will work for you but if you want to make this a product catalog and you want to make a wholesale website just like i described in the beginning you can stay tuned for the next video where i'll show you everything step by step thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next